For the past one year, Pramita has been working at a COVID-19 ward. Every day she treats hundreds of patients dealing with the virus. She saw firsthand how the pandemic put a massive strain on Indonesia's healthcare system. When the pandemic began, it was overwhelming for our hospital because at the time there were many patients, but only three ventilators in the ICU. The Indonesia Doctors Association confirmed that more than 500 health workers died of COVID-19 in 2020. Those numbers were alarming, and for Pramita, the Sinovac vaccine offered hope. I'm thankful the government prioritized health workers for the vaccination program because we are the frontliners, risking our lives every day. I'm also glad that in my experience, both doses of Sinovac didn't give me any side effects. A recent study by Indonesia's health ministry showed that Sinovac is 98% effective in reducing the number of COVID-19 deaths among health workers. We appreciate the result, we're happy with the result, but this is not the end. We still have to make another trial and continuously, regularly. We have a, a vaccine hesitancy still. Let's say 20% of Indonesian population don't believe, doesn't believe about pandemic exists. That's 20%. 20% is 50 million. The government is hoping with this recent study, the public would be more comfortable in receiving the Sinovac vaccine. Indonesia's health ministry aims to vaccinate 181 million people by January 2022. But experts say at this point, that seems unlikely. If we talk about uh, with the government about the, their strategy, I told them that herd immunity is that's a long-term goal. That one thing uh, and so many a uh, program that they have to, to, to do now is containing the, 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 the COVID-19 by uh, 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 strengthening the testing, tracing, and also not only testing, tracing, without isolation and quarantine uh, program, testing and tracing will not have a, a significant impact. Indonesia has been experiencing one of the worst COVID-19 outbreaks in Southeast Asia. In January 2021, the government raised their budget for the National Economic Recovery Program, hoping to speed up economic growth in the country. Sulkina Aluwalia, CGTN, Jakarta.